85 days and nights, the Taiyogeti volcano sent its flaming insides into the sky and down the slopes to the sea on what they call La Isla Bonita, the beautiful island here in the Canaries. La Palma and its people watched and waited. The bright red river didn't move quickly. Christmas Day 2021, the eruption was finally declared over. When a volcanic disaster is declared over, what of the people who escaped and whose homes are buried under that? Welcome to Beyond Borders. And it's still hot. Almost 1,200 homes burned or buried. 6,000 people evacuated. You cannot live here anymore. Melanie Kruger was one of them. I'm going to walk around the side of this pile of ash. And the top of your house would have been here. Yes, so it's And how, how much further down here do you think it is now? 15 meters or more. That is so sharp. It's not that heavy, but my but goodness, you, you what damage it's done. Stone, but you have here the heavy ones, you see it here. And this came out of the volcano like this, like a bomb. Oof. Before the eruption, it was woods, trees, gentle meadows, gentle slopes. Well, you can see what it was like if we look over there. You can see houses that have escaped entirely. The lava just coming down this way to create this extraordinary landscape where you can see, well, no houses. And the only sign of life is that palm tree just down there. How did that escape? How did that manage to survive such an extraordinary event which stretches for miles and miles? Melanie and her husband Jorge now live in two containers bolted together one of 85 provided at a cost of more than $5 million. Melanie sells volcanic jewelry at a Sunday market, and we will see her there later in the program. It is a bumpy ride to Julio Cesar Leal's new goat farm and milking parlor, untouched and across the Cumbre Vieja slopes from where he used to make his living. This is the moment when his old cheese factory and his livelihood went up in smoke. Volcan. Julio Cesar has since expanded his business, has a new cheese factory and does work for local farmers who haven't been so fortunate we're introduced to a three-week-old kid that's been abandoned by its mother. Julio names her the English in our honor. English, English. A lot of people would have thought that their way of life was finished. Sí, claro. Ya por lo menos los 14 ganaderos que estaban conmigo, ya ellos hubieran desaparecido porque aquí no hay más nadie que compre leche. Bien. Fíjate tú que la, la otra fábrica que había aquí también la evacuaron y tuvieron ellos que eh, tuve que recoger la leche a toda la otra fábrica. ¿Entiendes? Las dos fábricas que, que funcionaban aquí para recoger leche a los ganaderos, pues las dos las tenía yo. Era más feliz antes. Antes era mucho más feliz porque ya podía ser. Ahora lo que hago es trabajar más, ¿sabes? Ya es para poder recuperar parte de una cuarta parte de lo que yo había conseguido tengo que trabajar mucho más entiendes estoy todo el día trabajando todo el día 
The lava field is three kilometres wide, six kilometres long and as much as 60 metres thick. It buried the main road, separating communities. A ten-minute trip to see friends or family nearby turned into a two-hour drive around the island. Heat was the problem in any rebuild. We've just stopped at the side of the road because we've been told about temperatures. And although it's not obviously burning my hands, it's very, very hot indeed. I wouldn't want to hold it for long. Apparently, only three metres down, 21 months after the eruption, temperatures of these rocks, this lava, can still be as much as 500 degrees centigrade. Engineers took this photograph near to where they are working. The lava is still molten. They were advised to wait 400 days before starting work on account of the temperature. They waited one. And when we visit, they are about to declare its job done. Modern tarmac would melt, so they take lava, crush it, add volcanic ash and salt water, and lay down a heat-resistant surface. An ancient technique apparently borrowed from the Romans. Aside from the road, 10% of the vast lava field will be reclaimed for agricultural use. But 90% is being designated a national park, and that's something that Oscar Andres is unhappy about. He's fighting the local authority for the right to rebuild the homes he rented to tourists. My idea is to construct a city in the middle of the lava, protecting all the environment, not breaking more than what is necessary, and doing something peculiar, llamativo, attractive, that people come to visit it and say, oh, we have recovered in a very elegant place, and to make it productive. Claro, y, y no hay que no hay que denostarla, no hay que no hay que verlo como algo negativo a largo plazo, pero hay que sacarle un rendimiento, hay que aprovecharlo y no hay que destruirlo, más que lo preciso, perdón. No hay que no hay que destruirlo, evidentemente, hay que pero hay que aprovecharlo. It's Sergio Matos's job to oversee the resurrection of the area. Esperemos que en los próximos meses esté tanto el Real Decreto de Reconstrucción, perdón, el Decreto de Reconstrucción del Gobierno de Canarias, como también el Decreto de Reconstrucción de las fincas agrícolas que fueron afectadas por el volcán. Hoy por hoy, les podría decir que lo único que estamos recuperando es pues, personas a las que se les, ha, se les ha dado vivienda, pero se, ha traba, se está trabajando incansablemente entre empresas públicas y las, empresas, y las administraciones públicas, junto con la sociedad civil, para que esos decretos también sean efectivos, porque... En los próximos meses se va a ver el futuro de la isla de La Palma y yo creo que ese planeamiento será a 10 años porque esa es la realidad. Tenemos que ir poco a poco y después tendremos que seguir buscando financiación. At a local football match we find the mayor of El Paso, Sergio Rodriguez. We've been told about emergency laws that are supposed to provide compensation or new land for those who lost their homes. The mayor's been widely praised by those we meet, but other officials have been the subject of complaints. We've just had a goal <laughs> for the local team. Yes, oh. my team, my team. Oh, that's good news, that's <laughs> great team. news. That's great news. But back to the serious stuff. Well, this is serious too, yeah, in its yeah. own way. Yeah. But I'm wondering about mistakes, mistakes that were made. Um, I think the first mistake is they they didn't understand the situation really it was new for for all of us i i don't know why they they respond in, in the way they did um, i suppose i think i thought that the first thing uh, we should do is to to um, to give the money uh, as soon as possible and the other officials not i don't know why your people those who live in your municipality, you're the mayor. Yeah. They tell you, thanks, you've done a great deal. But other people, you must hear, are saying, we're still no, suffering. The, the other people from other municipalities came to, to, to my office because they thought we'd respond the other way, uh, faster than the other, the other ones, you know? 
So we receive a lot of money from people all over the world. Donations, yeah. Yes, yes, donations. And we decided to, to give the people suffering the money as soon as possible. The first uh, and the other one, I don't know why, they, they decided to, to keep the money in the, in the banks, in their banks, instead of uh, give, it, give the money to the people. It's Carnival weekend and Carlos Denis is raising money for children who can't afford the end of term school trip. He used to cater on a much larger scale with his own beachside restaurant, Kiosco Los Guieres. It no longer exists. And Carlos hasn't seen where it was since the eruption. Until now, he couldn't face it. You can't get there by road, so Carlos agrees to come with us by boat. Tremendo capitán. Era un restaurante de bastante fama de la, de, de la, del turista y de la gente nuestra de aquí. Muy visitado por todas. Al día, 100, 120, 150 personas diarias ahí, posible. Okay. Y días más. Y estuvo tiempo rodeado de la, de, de la fajana por allá, la fajana por este lado. Y el kiosco en el medio. Uh -huh. Y estuvo la, la lava quieta. Y yo pensé que iba a sobrevivir el restaurante. It is an extremely emotional journey. Carlos has just told me that we didn't know this, that uh, not only have we seen his restaurant destroyed today, and that's the first time he's seen it, but here in Porto Naos is his home, which he's had to leave. When lava hits the sea, it can release sulfuric, hydrochloric, and hydrofluoric acid. Here, the danger is raised levels of carbon dioxide. Scientists and politicians disagree with former residents about when it will be safe to return to this holiday ghost town. Tourism and bananas, the two major industries, and Fran Garlaz, whose plantation is right behind Puerto Naos, is giving me a lesson in botany. When the banana produces the flower, the fruits, the banana go to dead. Only half one life. He claims that water has been corruptly diverted after pipes were fractured by the eruption and accuses greedy people of paying more to get their supplies back. This year he has no banana crop. The pipes are broken because the coladas broke the, the old pipes. Yeah. But the government don't put until now the good water to put in the plantations. But it's one year, one and a half years almost. When, uh, when, when do you think you will get it? Uh, they, they say before that uh, in September, but oh no, September and December, no, uh, maybe on uh, now March, but we don't know when. And without that, you won't be able to grow. Will you have a business? No, it's impossible. What, what kind of business? In a neighborhood of temporary wooden homes, we listened as its displaced residents discussed the aftermath of the eruption. Pues por dentro era de madera, casi toda. Ya, yeah. todos los techos a cuatro aguas. Sí. Y la tenía perfectamente adaptada para... Sí, para, para la, la, sí, situación. la situación. Y era muy feliz en todo. Claro. Pero ahora está debajo de 30 metros de lava. Sí. O sea, le, sí. le pasó 
prácticamente. A mí pronto. me han dicho lo mismo, que hay sí. mucho metro en la benzina sí, sí. y ese ni en 20 años ni no. se va a, a enfriar. Yo con 20 años voy a tener 76 años. ¿Dónde voy yo con 76 años? ¿A fabricar otra vez? Sí. No se puede. Pues yo tengo un caso parecido, lo que pasa es que yo tengo sí. 71. Sí. Y, y tuve que, al no darme el gobierno casa adaptada, claro. no tuve ni la suerte esta, sí. eh, tuve que, que pedir crédito. Ah, claro. Con, y yeah. con 71 años pedir crédito... No te deja, ¿no? No, no tienes tiempo. O sea, el problema no sí. es que a muchos de nosotros sí. el volcán nos ha matado, no el presente. Total. Sí, el futuro total. es lo que nos ha sí. matado. Total. Sí. Karen Bansberg had to flee her home when the volcano first erupted and later watched on the evening news as it was completely engulfed. When the volcano was uh, going on, I was in my house. Uh, my, all my house was making a, little, a lot of noise. It was without going still. Um, it was really difficult. I had to run. And the most difficult thing is I can't get anything out of there. And then we have to um, begin again from from first from zero till up. It isn't easy. I'm now 56 years old. And to make it again, I've worked all my day. All my day I've worked and now I have nothing. I'm glad I have now something, a roof above, above my head. But I was four months in a, in a stable from horses, sleeping on, difficult. Sleeping on the floor? Yes, on the floor. The difficulty is also, where do you go? Because uh, to go to a house and pay for it, the, the people here, ask the double price than normal and where how can we pay it why would they do that i don't know were they taking advantage well i don't know it's really it's really sad because not all the people i have to say but the most of the people it's really difficult to get a house from when you when you want to rent it it's really really difficult and i do everything for my daughter It's the only thing that I have. I'm sorry. It's a little bit hard. The long-term effect of those 85 days in late 2021 are being studied closely. Creo sinceramente que la población tiene el corazón roto. Tiene el corazón roto porque evidentemente lo que se ha vivido en esta isla es muy fuerte. No soy capaz de ponerme en la piel de las personas que han perdido no solo su vivienda, sino su proyecto de vida. Si a un año vista desde la situación más compleja no se han desarrollado pues esas patologías más graves, yo entiendo que no se deberían de producir a lo largo del tiempo porque hay estudios que demuestran que cuando se trabaja la fase de duelo en situaciones eh, previas, iniciales, eh, se disminuye mucho eh, la posibilidad de cronificar esas patologías de salud mental. Eh, evidentemente no todos los casos son iguales, no todas las situaciones son iguales y la capacidad de adaptación no es la misma, pero yo creo sinceramente que la población de la Isla Palma tiene capacidad para salir adelante y espero y deseo que no tengamos que trabajar con la salud mental por un agravio en la situación de las personas. It's Sunday morning and Melanie is at the flea market with her volcanic jewelry. Do you think most people who live here just accept that it's a risk they have to take? 
Yes, they accepted, but they didn't ex ex uh, expect it. it. Yeah, so they were surprised. Even here, there are some of my friends, yeah, they have no house anymore. And they waited until the last day. It was a rumor before, it was a, like, a, like a, um, a noise and you, you, you have to accept it, uh, to expect it, expect it. but um, they couldn't believe it. And then they waited until the last day and just took one thing out, like a stupid thing, what you, what you wouldn't really need because they were so surprised. We have a lot of problems here. Uh, everyone is thinking that everyone is going good, but nothing is going good. The people are quite bad here. The price is so expensive to live. So a lot of people from the island have to move to another island, to Spain or somewhere. And we have any help. No one is helping us. They forgot about us. A lot of people are still living in the hotel. People living in a car with the dogs because no one likes to take dogs or cats or animals. We have a lot of problems here still. They make some money at the market, but businesses have been badly hit. Many lost. Only disaster tourism is on the rise. Que mientras el volcán estaba en auge, eh, había mucha, mucha prensa, televisión de todo el mundo. Y nos sentíamos acompañados. Eh, hoy en día eh, ya somos historia. Eh, ustedes vienen aquí, pero no es lo más común. Viene el turista a sacar la foto y nada más. Pero esa mm, publicidad de nuestra situación ya no existe. Hay otras cosas en el mundo, ¿verdad? Tenemos el terremoto de Turquía, entre, entre otras cosas. Hay muchas más noticias que son actuales y que tienen más empuje a la hora de, de emitir un programa. ¿no? O sea, para nosotros es muy importante que se siga hablando de La Palma, que se vea en el mundo que está, seguimos sufriendo, porque las consecuencias del volcán las vamos a tener durante muchos años. ¿no? El palmero es una persona muy fuerte. Eh, no, no se hunde, no es fácil hundirlo. Yo sé que saldremos adelante pero que tardaremos muchos años, sí. Y entonces yo confío que no nos olviden, que de vez en cuando aparezca por aquí alguna televisión o alguien con buena voluntad con ustedes y que sigan emitiendo esos programas y diciendo La Palma sigue sufriendo, ¿verdad? The following day we meet Amilcar Cabrera, the engineer in charge of the island's volcanic emergency plan. We're touring a village where the oozing lava flow stopped, eventually. And the lava is still under here? Yes. Molten lava under here? Sí, yes. That's extraordinary, and that's what you it looks like. You look, look uh, the lava inside to the houses. Wow. <laughs> that's part of the house. It's, co it's concrete. Yeah. Scratch. That's what the, the lava has done to yes. the structure of the house. And then, walking back through what appears to be a deserted street, we meet Iraidis Fajardo, whose parents built this house. She was born here and wants to stay for the rest of her life. So this window was blown out? Yes, this, this window. And the floor? The, the floor and the, this, uh, the door, the door, the... This another door, this door and this window. All blown, blown out. Yeah. Here, the, uh, the lava didn't affect. How lucky. Yeah, very lucky. Very lucky compared with the people that uh, lost everything they had. In both sides, there were a lot of houses. And now we have only one, two, three, four and five houses in all the street. Wow. The volcano destroyed everything here. Meanwhile, back on board the Eco Fancy, Carlos dreams of a new restaurant, but says his wife wants to leave the island. It's too painful to stay.
Ay, volcán malo. Qué daño nos hiciste. And perhaps it's too dangerous, because they knew for some time that this was coming. In the last 500 years, there have been seven other eruptions, three of them since 1949. The people we've met on this island are living on a lava lake that is 2,000 times bigger than that which was spewed out by Taiyageti. And experts say it's not a case of if it happens again, but when.